Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. As you know, I am Rizwan Ahmed Priyanto, an 8th grader student of Mibrakan Public School and College. And guys, I'm also a Tesol learner too. So guys, today I'm here with you guys. And today we're gonna learn subtracting trick of conjugative squared numbers. Now, can you just imagine we can just subtract the two numbers, the conjugative squared numbers, in just a few seconds. If you are professional at this, then you may take less than one second. Can you believe? And if you're just like middle student, then you will take only two to three seconds. So how we're gonna do that? I'll now show it to you. So example, what are consecutive numbers? The numbers which are just before and after, like 50 and what's its before number? 49. Now 50 squared, subtracted 49 squared so now how we're gonna pick up this result it's very tough cause first we have to pick up that 50 squared then we have to pick up the 49 squared and it will take time then we have to take the subtraction of that result so it will take so much time and so much effort but i have an easy trick that it will just only take just only one second just see what we're gonna have to do that 15 plus 49 is equals to 99. Now, if you check in your any calculator or any calculating device, then you will see that the answer is correct. Because how? That's the trick. So if there is written that if we take this as a and this as b, that means a square minus b, not in the term of algebra, but in arithmetic, this formula is leading us to a square minus b square. How are we gonna pick up this result? Just a plus b. Not in the term of algebra, just keep in mind, in the term of subtracting the conjugative numbers. Now, 150 squared minus 149 squared. How can we get a result here? Just add them. It's very easy now. 1 plus 1 is 2, maybe and 5 plus 4, 9, and there comes another 9 over. <laughs> That's a trick. So, uh, it was very easy. Let me show you another, some math here. Now, let us go into some big maths. Here, 1501 squared, subtract 1500. Now, these are consecutive numbers as you can see here. So, how we are gonna do this math? Simple, easy, in the same rules. Uh, what's this result? Very easy, 3001. So, in this, it's also the same. Should I do this? Okay, I'm gonna do this for you guys. Mm. Okay guys, so now you have watched the trick of subtracting these numbers, this consecutive numbers trick. So that's the trick of today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.